Ivan Katz here at Yetter Park in Shroudsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm going to play around and tell you which discs I throw and talk a little bit about how to play the game of disc golf. Let's get started. Number one here at Yetter Park, 375 foot par three and a lot of trouble trees on the way. Let's see what we can do. Discraft Express here, throwing with just a bit of hyzer, turns over nicely and stays the course. A very straight disc for me. Turns over means stable under stable, basically. If you throw a disc and it does nothing, you throw a disc with this much hyzer and it stays, that's a stable disc. If it starts to turn over, that's an understable disc. If it turns the other way, more fade, that's an overstable disc. As you play with these discs, they'll break in, so keep playing with them. However, that being said, speed is very important on the disc. That's the first number. You'll want to be starting with a mid-range, like a Cobra, or lots of people have sharks included with their first disc kit. Maybe a Leopard is about the longest you want to throw. I think that's a eh, seven to nine, somewhere in there. So those are control fairway drivers. That means you can throw them with power and still have good control. But at any rate, the Discraft Express here, a very straight disc for me, and about 20 feet from the basket. Number two is a 360 foot par three. Certainly not easy. Again, lots of trees in the way. Let's see what we can do. Okay, my Halo Air and uh, thrown with maybe a little hair bit of Anheuser to keep it going this way and then fading back. It has a strong fade for me. It's more stable than it has been in years that I've been using it, but still an overstable disc for me. So I used that, got around the trees, and then faded back in towards the basket. But still, uh, Geez, 120 feet away. Okay, so the dart here, thrown with some hyzer, can get me around those trees, and eh, about eight feet from the basket. Number three, 318 feet. And you've got this tree right here that is uh, definitely, definitely intimidating. But my number one tip, don't look at that tree. Look above to the fairway. I think you want to go for some height here to get the distance. And just don't even think about the tree. Go with your disc that you know is going to go straight down the path. Maybe with a little fade right at the end. Okay, so my Hex Rakuten right here. Nice shot. It uh, turned over for me. It's a bit of an understable disc. And then just a little fade straight towards the basket. So very nice shot there. But still a good 50, 60 feet from the basket. Okay, so the dart there with the nice long putt. Rated at three. Four zero zero. Three is the speed, that means it's a putter approaching a mid-range, eh, right in there. Four is the glide, that got me the distance there, the glide, and uh, zero zero, that means basically it does what you tell it to do. Uh, this one tends to fade a little bit for me when I throw it right hand backhand. I don't have a very strong right hand backhand, so it tends to fade for me a little bit. So I compensated for that, threw it with a little Anheuser curved right into the basket. There you go. On to the next one. Number four, straight down the cart path here and then fading to the right back into the trees. You don't want to fade too much because of the water back there. But uh, tough shot, certainly.
Okay, the Discraft Heat has been uh, a nice new addition to my bag and uh, got me down the path here on its way towards this difficult putt. Difficult because if you're putting right hand backhand, there's no way you can throw with your normal shot and go around this way because you'll hit a bunch of trees. So I think I'm going to have to throw it a little bit flatter. Maybe some Anheuser get it to curve around and hopefully get in that basket for a birdie. Okay, so the heat for the drive and then the Anheuser put in with the Cobra. Again, the Cobra is a great disc. It's a mid-range. You can play the entire course with this disc, including even putting like I showed you there. Now, a word on putting and a word on my videos in general. No one's going to come out here and shoot birdies all the time. I throw multiple discs. I'm shooting a video, so I want to throw different shots, different discs, and show you a variety of shots that I use. So, again, you're not going to come out here and throw birdies all the time. Aces are very tough, and uh, disc golf is a very difficult sport. So just come out here, play against yourself, improve, 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 and you'll have a great time playing it. Number five, 258 feet. Believe me, it's down there on the right. Tough to see, but uh, also a very tough shot because a lot of trees and, again, a water hazard here on the right. This is a particularly beautiful course, I think. Okay, the Halo Air thrown pretty flat and uh, pretty low too to keep it under control and keep it from getting away from me and getting out into these woods and troubled water area on the right. Not too bad, stopped by this log here, but still, uh, eh, this is pretty much right at the circle, probably upper 30s, about 40 feet. and circle is 10 meters 33 feet if you're outside of that area you can jump putt which means you can lunge forward under that distance and you have to stay put it's my it's my style to just stay put and putt so that's what I'm going to do well looks like I'm skipping six here on to number seven and uh, 240 feet I don't know this course very well Okay, my Crank SS, going with a little bit of hyzer, got me straight to the basket and curved around the trees nicely for the easy birdie. Not such a great throw with the heat right here, but uh, let's see what I can do to get close to the basket here. Okay, the dart got me around those trees, thrown with some hyzer, and about 15 feet to the basket. Number nine here, very interesting and kind of scenic too. Just 214 feet, but you're throwing up to that hill with a lot of trees in the way. Well, I'm precariously suspended on a hill here and uh, had a good shot with the R-Pro Boss. That tends to be a stable to understable disc for me. And uh, a word about DX Plastic. It's cheaper, so beginners use it. There's nothing wrong with it. I like the way it breaks in. And uh, sometimes when they get too worn in, they tend to get too flippy, which means they turn over too much. And uh, at that point, well, yeah, maybe you can get rid of them. But they last a good many years, and uh, they're certainly cheaper to get into. So don't shy away from DX discs like my R-Pro boss here. Probably a 10-foot putt, but uphill. So pretty difficult still. And also, I'm dangling on the hill. Another couple quick tips here. You want to make sure that you write your name 
on your discs and your phone number so if you lose them maybe you'll get them back that'll be a good thing and also bring a towel with you because oftentimes your discs get wet or dirty and it's nice to be able to clean them off when you write your name on a disc like this person did and someone finds it like I did while playing this course oftentimes there's a lost and found disc box like this one so you just go ahead and slide it in and uh, there you go they will get their disc back there's always local disc golf associations on Facebook it's a good idea to join them and find out what's going on locally and of course get your discs back that's a Skeeter from the 90s and it's probably pretty rare so I think they'll probably be very happy to get that one back thanks for watching don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram don't forget to check out all of my other disc golf videos and of course disc golf reviews of discs like the Valkyrie Crank SS Cobra mid ranges and many other discs out there as well of course check out my drive and Ivan car reviews if you like cars and my literal video for Chris Isaac's Wiki game all my music videos and thanks for watching, I'm Ivan Katz.